guys. Alright, the front seat the uh, front seat compressor. Uh, 2002 compressor. Uh, let's see if she pulls down. Okay, she's front seated. Let's see if we got any see if we got any compressor left in this thing. Found the compressor condenser was totally choked and the customer saying it was making a weird noise going off on internal bypass but check yeah this thing's junk this thing should <laughs> it's got no nothing to pull down it's only pulling down on my freaking hose <laughs> the old junko pressure's toasted out Compressor's clean now, the condenser's clean now, but hey, Norfolk, Norfolk Refrigeration, uh, thanks for the shout out on your video the other day, uh, got another, I got a rusty valve on a freezer myself, this one's a little sketchy, uh, but uh, Still, I'll should do zero. No bueno. Okay, a little tip of the day what I do whenever you guys are putting uh, the gauges on, I always crank my, uh, when I want to check the, my gauges, I go five cranks. One, two, three, four, five. That'll open your valve one and a quarter turns. It just pushes the front seat in just a, just a shade, just enough to get yourself a nice, that's the method I use is five cranks. Five quarter turns. Get in there. Uh, i got my testos on here right now, but I don't have my gauge in front of me. She was only doing like 60 degrees before 59 or something. So anyways, yep, no bueno, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Click like in the video. Take care. Bye. Okay, quick tip, guys, with a four valve manifold, how you can uh, suck everything in from your hoses. High side with these uh, self sealing hoses, you can disconnect. Then you have all your refrigerant in your hose there. And so what you do is, what I did before was uh, I opened the high side, I cracked it for a second, and I just perched in the air that was inside the center of my manifold out the vacuum port. So uh, then I, so now, so now I have the inside of the whole area here has all been, you know, perched out. So you just uh, open the, your, Nice. Open your high side, and then open your suction, and that way you can suck it, suck it into your system. And that way, the only thing that's left in the hose is that way you keep the charge, and you're not uh, venting any. Trying to keep as much refrigerant out of your hoses that you have to when you disconnect, you know. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, click like on the video if you could, and subscribe. Alright, take her easy. Thanks, bye.